Las Vegas. At stake, the undisputed middleweight championship of the world. The principles are for men. Win against Duran. Ah! The claim that Hackley would be awed by this event. This is the time when it would affect him. He would be tight in the first round and perhaps be hurt as Duran hurt Leonard. Early. Not a scoop, everybody knows it. Round two, <laughs> scheduled for 15. Duran with a short left hand. Hagler with him. Mind is, can Duran hurt Hagler? We haven't seen any evidence. Hagler, as he blocks that right, to use the uppercut effectively on the inside, as he's doing right there. There, as Duran was uh, holding on. Duran with a short right. Hagler with a left having no problem moving Duran. Hagler comes from downstairs with an uppercut. Less than a minute to go. Hagler with a left hand on the head of the percolate. As uh, the champion, Hagler, starting to unwind. So far, most have been blocked by Hagler, but one or two have gotten in. That one was blocked. The crowd erupts. Hagler seems intent on, on getting off first. That right hand by Duran was short on the chest of Hagler. He has not been able to solve that. Well, as we head into round three, he's landing. Duran insists that he's in tip-top shape. He trained for most of the summer. Hagler did this round three. Duran with the left to the head. Hagler with a right hand in the face of Hagler. Another right hand by Duran to the head of Hagler. Hagler with a big left hand that rocked Duran. Duran with a right upper beneath an express train of a left hand by Hagler. Hagler caught nothing but air. Round four. Duran has closed the distance to Hagler. They're closer than ever before. Uh, he'll be very effective. We're half A right hand by... A right to the body by Duran, but he paid the price. He can hurt Hagler with it. Uh, could do himself some good in this fight. Round five, scheduled for 15. As soon as I said he hadn't done it, he switches to the righty stance. Left hook to the head. In the workouts every day, Hagler uh, fought several rounds right handled with Roberto Duran. And he landed a good uppercut just before that. By the cheers of the crowd. Good Hagler with a right hand. Duran with a right hand. Hagler comes back with a straight left to the head. Duran with a whack of... Right hand by Duran, and that was right on the chin of Hagler, but he's not hurt. And there's the bell fight until uh, Ray took out Hearns in the 14th round. In the last round, this Hagler. Is round six. A left hander had put Durant off balance and wide open for the shot. By Hagler from the orthodox stance. Hagler with a left hook to the head. They're applying some pressure. He's gone into another gear. And it's Hagler on the end. Durant's still coming forward. Big right hand by Hagler from the righty stance. That was his best punch. Less than a minute to go now, and Durant. And the strength of Hagler taking over here now. The first real middleweight that Durant has faced, and he's finding out how powerful Hagler is. They're anxious for this next round. Hagler comes out righty. been dominant when they are inside. Good lead right by Hagler. As you can hear, Hagler pushing Durant to a fast pace here. He wants Durant to work hard. Hagler, as he may be doing here against Durant, ran out of gas, got frustrated when Fred the Firma wouldn't go down. This range, and uh, Hagler rumbling pretty well. Neither man has been... We are approaching the halfway mark of the fight. Al, I want your impressions about how... One man has been able to prevent his work by Hagler. Now Hagler turns to righty. And watch how effective he is when he turns to this stance. He made a pivot move. And Hard jab there by Hagler. Yet another one. A countering right hand by Durant. He's a pretty good boxer. Durant comes out flat ready to uh, accommodate Mr. Durant if he wants to go toe-to-toe -to -toe here at close quarters. Another right hand blocked by Hagler. Hagler with a three point. Hagler slipping the jabs and pounding the body of Roberto. Hagler said he learned a great lesson from that controversial draw. He knew he ran out of gas down the final five rounds. He said he learned how to. No indication that Hagler is uh, slowing the tempo. Good. Pulling the round. 
Taylor continues also to work the body very effectively. Eruption, a three punch combination, and later some body work. That was the, uh, the major noise. Don't think about it. There's the bell for round 10. Best work. Look at on the inside, appear to be the case on the inside. Hagler appears strong there. They just banged heads somewhat. Chopping right hand by Duran, another one, and the hat. Relatively clean fight, considering what many boxing observers were expecting. Discernibly here in round 10. And a right hand, a hard left hand by Hagler. Duran came back with his own right. And it appears right now that Durant cannot hurt Hagler. Hagler with a couple of good combinations for Roberto Duran as this fight heads into its final stages. You wonder if the... Certainly the quietest round of the fight. After going toe-to-toe -to -toe in the middle round, the poison ready for round 12. by going right to Duran. Right hand by Duran on head. He's been blocking a lot of punches. He has shown good defense in this fight. Better, I think, than Duran expected. Duran breathing very heavily. And I think... As contrasted against the previous round, the 11. Left hook by Duran to the head of Hagler. Right from him. Duran with a right uppercut. They're swelling underneath the eye, the left eye of Hagler. This is starting to fight, and of course that swelling under the left eye a factor now. Duran with the lead right, he followed up with another right hand. And Hagler's got a problem with swelling underneath his left eye. This is right to his chin, as if to say, come on, hit me. Hagler with the left hand, Roberto with the right. To do is turn around to the conventional stance. Duran has not been able to land a right when Hagler is a righty. I'm sure. Right hand. A left hand by Hagler. A right by Duran. In this round, ha right hand by Duran. Hagler came with a right hook. Duran paws at him in disdain. Duran with a chop in hand, and he is sharpshooting for that left eye of uh, Marvin Hagler as swelling underneath on the cheekbone. We're into the 14th. Good uppercut by Hagler. And backing up, looking to get some punching room. Right hand by Hagler. Forced here in the 14th round, but he still sneers at Hagler. He has come back from an early deficit and fought well toward the end of this fight. In round 14. In the final minute of the cut. But here in round 14, despite the sneering, it's been Hagler on the inside dominating the action as you see him doing right there. Hagler with a strong... I think uh, that it is up to Duran to have a big 15th round. He may, in my opinion, he may need a knockout to win, but it's up to the judges. Hagler ripping shots on the inside. He's so effective there, working the body and the head. Hagler goes right to it here in the final round. Big left hand by Hagler on the chin of Duran, but Duran is okay, so okay, he sneered again at Hagler. Fight has shown us Hagler, the hard worker in boxing, and Duran, he's the showman. So Duran now sensing that we only have a few ticks left on the clock, trying to uh, get close enough Hagler finishing with a drum roll here. 15th round, ripping body and head shots to the head of Roberto Duran. 20 odd seconds to go in the fight. Left hand by, he rocks Hagler with the right hand. Hagler with the left as we head for the bell. For the winner by unanimous decision, and still, the out of the undisputed middleweight champion of the world, Marvelous, Marvin Hagler. Oh, congratulations to uh, Marvin Hagler, who wins by unanimous decision, but it was close by point margins of two, one, and one.